What we're going to take a look at now is what's called the Brønsted Lowry theory of acids and bases. Brønsted, there's an umlaut over that O. Here's how you say an O with umlauts. You basically say E, but you mouth O. E, E, E. Brønsted Lowry theory of acids and bases. It's going to be referred to as the alternate theory or an alternate theory of acids and bases, but it's really called Brønsted Lowry. First, let's take a look at the Arrhenius theory again to see what that tells about acids and bases. Then we're going to take a look at this Brunstead-Lowry theory, and then we're going to be able to identify Brunstead-Lowry acids and bases. Arrhenius defines acids based on their characteristics. Acids contain H plus dissolved in water. Bases contain OH minus dissolved in water. Brunstead-Lowry defines acids and bases by their actions. What do they do in a chemical reaction? Acids are proton donors. Kind of like a kidney donor, except you don't actually need to see a surgeon. Bases are proton acceptors. Now let's talk about this whole proton business. This is a proton. If you throw an electron around it, you're talking about hydrogen. A hydrogen atom is made up of a proton with an electron zipping around outside of it. However, when hydrogen loses its one and only valence electron, it becomes a hydrogen ion, a proton. See, that's all a hydrogen ion is. It's what's called a naked proton. Woo! Atoms gone wild! So an acid is anything that gives up H plus in a reaction. And a base is anything that takes on H plus in a reaction. See? Acids and Arrhenius are defined by what they have in their formula. Bases are defined by what they have in their formula. But, Brinstead Lowry definition defines acids and bases based on their actions. What do they do in a reaction? In this reaction right here, the HCl turns into Cl minus, and the H2O turns into H3O plus. That means that the HCl gave up its hydrogen to the water. HCl acted as the Brunstead-Lowry acid, and the water acted as the Brunstead-Lowry base, as the hydrogen was given from HCl to H2O. In this reaction, NH3 becomes NH4 plus 1, and H2SO4 becomes HSO4 minus 1. H2SO4 lost the hydrogen, NH3 gained it, therefore, the H2SO4 is acting as the Brunstead-Lowry acid, and the NH3 is acting as the Brunstead-Lowry base. The H plus is lost by the sulfuric acid and gained by the ammonia. In this reaction, the HBr becomes Br minus, and NH2 becomes NH3. Well, HBr lost a hydrogen, and NH2 gained a hydrogen. So the hydrogen went from HBr to NH2, making the HBr the Brunstead-Lowry acid, and then H2 minus the Brunstead-Lowry base. You can see from this that, as opposed to Arrhenius that said, bases must contain OH, a Brunstead-Lowry base is not defined by that. A Brunstead-Lowry base is defined by its actions in a chemical reaction. The acid is the species that loses the hydrogen, proton, and the base is the species that accepts the H+, the proton.